In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a publisher and subscriber package in Python. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision. So subscribe to learn more. Check out my playlist on computer vision using AI, OpenCV in Python, ROS2, Git, Python, C++, SOLIDWORKS, mechanical design. And here's my GitHub that follows along with it. And we're going to create a package from our ROS2 workspace source folder. So we want to CD into that and then run the ROS2 package create command to create our package called pypubsub. So if I go ahead and run this, it's going to create my package. And you can see in my folder here, we have a folder called pypubsub. And by default, it's going to have a pypubsub folder with a init.py function here, and then a resource folder, a test folder, a package.xml, a setup.cfg, and then a setup.py. Okay, so we're going to look into some of the source files that we'll need. So we have a publisher member function here, and this is what we'll do the publishing. So I have some resources if you need some refresher on Python classes and inheritance here. But here what we have is we have a minimal publisher that inherits from a node, and we have a constructor here. So here in the constructor, we initialize with the name of the publisher called minimal publisher. And then we have a self.publisher uh, variable that we're storing as a member variable after we create the publisher with our string, the topic, and 10. So we pass that in, save it, and then we have a time period of 0.5. And then the timer, we're going to create a timer and then store that timer. And then we have a counter variable i that starts at 0. And we have our callback function here that's going to get our message as a string. The data is going to be hello world. And then it's going to spit out the number that we're um, retrieving. And then here we have the self.publisher. Publish is going to be publishing the message. And then here is going to be what is going to output what is publishing. And inside of a main function, we have the similar structure as we mentioned in our C++ video. But here we have an init, and then we instantiate the minimal publisher. And then spin will get it up and running. And then when you're done, it'll do some destroy and shut down. OK, so here, here's, a subs, uh, here's a subscriber. Um, we have the subscriber function here, or the subscriber file. So here, what we see is a minimal subscriber. We're going to inherit the node. Again, we create a constructor with the name of our subscriber. And then we have, we, we're going to create a subscription with string, topic, and then a callback. So here, our callback is going to be, I heard some message. And then inside of our main function, we're going to call the init call our minimal subscriber. Um, function or class, we're going to create an instance of it, and then spin, destroy, and then shut down. OK, so that's the general structure of the publisher and subscriber functions. So next up is we want to update some of our files. Specifically, we have our package.xml and our setup.py. So let's take a look at what changes we made. So here is our package.xml file. As we see by default, it'll generate these files. But what we're going to do is add these two lines here, the rclpy and then the std messages, so that we can use some of the ROS functionalities. And then in the setup file, what we're going to do is add these two files here, so um, or these two lines here. So inside the entry point, we have a talker. So this will set up our pypub sub and then our publisher member function, and then our subscriber member function. And this will allow us to use those functions that we created. So back to my readme, um, let's go ahead and uh, make those updates. So we saw the things that we have. Now we want to move it over. So we're going to copy these two files here, which is our source files. I'm going to copy it. We're going to our pypub. Um, folder here, and then we're going to paste it in here. 
So this is those, those are our functions. And then we have our package and setup.py. We're going to copy those. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just remove uh, those two files since we're changing it. And then we'll go ahead and update that. So if we go back to here, we're going to paste it. We have our new updated package and setup files. So now that we have our updated files, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do the ROS. This right here is to check for missing dependencies, which I would say is optional. Um, but you want to CD back to your previous folder and then run this. So everything is up to date. And then we're going to build with Colkin from ROS2 workspace. So I'm going to copy this. Colkin build package select pi pub sub. This is going to build our package. And after the package is done building, what we want to do is create another terminal and then run the talker from our ROS2 workspace. So before you do that, you need to source it so that the talker command will show up. So if I go ahead and run this, this will start my talker. And then in the other terminal, we want to start our listener. So to start our listener, we're going to run the similar command, but now with the listener. So here we have our listener, and you can see that it says, I heard hello world and the number that it's publishing. Okay. So in my next video, I'm going to talk about server and client in C++. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.